بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الطلب الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وأهلا ومرحبا بكم في هذا الجزء الثالث من المحور الثاني لمادة الرسم الهندسي 2 والذي بعنوان Dimensioning Objects Features The Basics Concept Dimensioning is accomplished by adding size and location information necessary to manufacture the object. This information has to be clear, complete, facilitate the manufacturing method and the measurement method. One example, this is the designed part. We need two views. To manufacture this part, we need to know first the width, the depth, and thickness of the part. These are the dimensions, should be clear. Okay? S denotes size dimension, L denotes location dimension. Second, the diameter and the depth of the hole. Okay? This is diameter of the hole. We need to know location of the holes. This is the location of the hole. Okay? Right. Angle. To dimension an angle, use circular dimension line having the center at the vertex of the angle. One example here. This is the angle. Okay? We use this circular dimension line. Okay, this is another example. This circular dimension line have a center here. The center of the vertex of the angle. Okay. Here, this is the angular dimension. Common mistakes here. For this vertex, this center, uh, this uh, circular dimension line, have no center here. This is wrong. Arcs are dimensioned by giving the radius and the views in which their true shape appear. The letter R is always lettered before the figures to emphasize that this dimension is radius of an arc. Here, for example, this is the dimension line R200. That's mean the radius of this arc is 200 millimeters. Or, to put directly, this is from the center, or to put directly here, extension from the center, are 200 millimeters. The dimension figure and the arrow head should be inside the arc, where there is sufficient place, sufficient space for both. There is the first example here, R200 from the center. Sufficient space for arrow head only. Move figure outside. Okay, R62.5 for example. Here too, R58.5 millimeters. Insufficient space for both. Move both figure and arrow outside. Like this example, the space is not, is not enough for uh, both. We have to put are 6.5 millimeters outside. Leader line must be radial and inclined with an angle between 30 to 60 degrees to the horizontal. This is, this is 30 degrees and here 60 degrees. So the leader line must be inclined radial between these two angles. For example, here, it's okay, R62.5. Common mistakes, the leader line is outside, 30 and 60 millimeters. This one should be extended outside, 
that one is outside 60 and 30 millimeter uh, degrees sorry here we have an example too this is inclined but outside 60 millimeters this is also is wrong use the four short knit radial dimension line when arc center locates outside the sheet or interfere with other views this is the drawing sheet this is the view when the center is outside the uh, drawing sheet we have first method is to extend the line from the center and that's all second method is to move the center here and put zigzag line fillet and rounds give the radius of a typical fillet only by using a local node we have an example here r 6.5 millimeters if all fillets and rounds are uniform in size dimension Dimension may be omitted, but it is necessary to add the note. All fillet and round are give a dimension R, for example, 5 millimeters. Here, all fillet and rounds are R is 6.5 millimeters. For that one, for example, all fillet and round are 6.5 millimeters unless otherwise specified this one is other uh, specified it is specified different to the uh, given r 6.5 millimeters curve the curve constructed from two or more arcs requires the dimensions of ready and centers location this is an example we have to specify the center, red and ready, and center location. Common mistakes here. This is the tangent point. This is wrong. It should be here. Okay, that one should be here. Okay. Cylinder. Size dimensions are diameter and length for the cylinder. This is the measurement method. Location dimension must be located from its center line. Here we have a shape with a cylinder. On these views, we have to locate the center of the cylinder. The diameter should be given in a longitudinal view with the symbol phi placed before the figures. This is a cylindrical shape. This is two views. Okay, we have to put the, the diameter as per this notation. For holes, size dimensions are diameter and depth. Measurement method is the following. Location dimension must be located from its center line. This is a shape with two holes. On these views, we have to locate the center of the holes. Holes with a small size. Use leader line and, locate and local node to specify diameter and holes depth. For example, through thickness hole. Here is not with phi xx, for example, phi 10 millimeters. Or phi given uh, diameter and we put through. Or another method, XX drill, for example, 15 millimeters drill. Other method, XX drill to, uh, to specify the diameter and put here through. Use leader line and local note to specify diameter and holes deep in the circular view. Blind hole. Here, 
we specify the diameter and the depth with local nodes or other method xx drill to specify the diameter and to say that is drilled and not remit and here the, to specify the depth of the hole hole with uh, holes with large size use extension and dimension line this is to put diameter phi xx use diameter line for dimension this is also it's okay use leader line and note outside the hole common mistakes for holes are for example to put from uh, the, the the arrow of the uh, dimension line is out inside the hole the circle of hole this is wrong also to put uh, to specify hole with r this is wrong the inclination of this line is not between 60 and 30 uh, degrees this is wrong here the arrow is directly on the center this is wrong for the big hole size to put diametrical line dimension and external note this is wrong also this one is wrong the uh, dimension diametrical line on the uh, center line this is wrong and here also to locate uh, the hole this is wrong you have to locate the center okay and from here you have to locate the center for chamfers use leader line and note to indicate linear distance and angle of the chamfer for example here we can specify this chamfer with this dimension and with this inclination this angle or dimension multiplied by angle for a 45 chamfer the most used we can put c that's mean 45 chamfer and s this is the dimension of this chamfer or directly here to put s by s this is mean 45 degree chamfer round and shapes dimension it according to the manufacturing method used here for example with these local nodes okay and dimension these holes should be drilled first hole sorry first hole here and second hole we have to specify center to center distance dimension it according to the manufacturing method used also we have this example local notes and dimension to make this hole we use this milling process okay and we need then center to center distance dimension it according also to manufacturing method use it this is another example local notes okay okay and center to center distance is specified here too here we have to specify the tool distance okay this is the tool cutting distance should be specified here it's okay dimension it according to the standard sizes of another part to be assembled or manufacturing method use it for this key we need uh, to manufacture this keyway key it is a standard part okay so we have to specify the total length of the keyway 
another example here to show the uh, manufacturing uh, process of the keyway. We, uh, we have to specify center to center distance. 